Okay, good day to you all. Welcome to graphic design class today from Good News Information Technologies. Today we want to talk about graphic design. Welcome, let's go. What do you want to design? From flyers to posters, letterheads, postcards, invitation cards, certificate, greeting cards, or motion graphics. Which one do you want? Any of these ones are available. You can design almost anything. Uh, with that, what is graphic design? Graphic design just simply means using color, shape, layout, or even text to promote a message. You can use any to promote any message, something colorful. You can pass your message, you can pass your brand, you can pass your logo, you can pass the message of your product to the community, to the world, to your users. How? Just by using graphic design. What are the basic concepts you use in graphic design? You can either use line or color or use the value of the product or we use shape or the texture or even a space. You can use any of these things to pass the message using graphic design. So what do you want to design? What graphic designers is just create symbols with images and form visual representation. You can see happy father's day. Something we just add a triangle, we have a rectangle there, we have uh, the image here, just brought together and then you can see that certificate there, it's just brought together using different packages in graphic design. What are some of the packages we use for graphic design? You can use common Microsoft Word for graphic design or maybe you use Excel or Publisher, you can use it for graphic design, even paint on your app. Uh, can be used for graphic design and in the same software. You can use Microsoft Picture Manager or Corel Draw, and in an advanced page, you can use Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator and several others that you can use for graphic design. With all of these, you can get going and promote your product and even make money being a graphic designer. Today, we shall introduce ourselves to the use of Corel Draw for graphic design. Yes, this afternoon, we shall consider Corel Draw 12 as a package. When you launch Corel 12 as a package, this is what you are going to see on your screen. When you see that on your screen, the first thing you have to do is just to click on New. Once you click on New, it will load the Corel Draw package for you. You can see it's loading. You can see it loading. Yes, once it has successfully loaded, then you will now see the tools. I have to quickly show you the important tools we have in Corel Draw. This tool, usually by your left hand side, by your left hand side is what we call the working tools. This working tool is very, very important. We need to learn the use of these working tools one after the other. But if you right click your page like this, you will see that you have the menu bar activated, the status bar activated, the uh, property bar and the toolbox. This toolbox is also referred to as the working tool. That's where you have all the text, the images, everything you have there. So quickly now, I want to quickly show you those tools. When you look at the tools uh, properly, you will discover that Number one, you have the pick tool. This tool I'm clicking on here is a pick tool. As you can see, once you highlight it, once you click on it, it will bring it up. The other one that you have here is what you can use to draw any line. You have the brush, you have the shape tool there, you have the knife tool, you have the eraser tool, you have uh, the smudge brush tool, you have the roughing brush tool. Then, then, followed by the zoom tool. After the zoom tool is a free hand tool, after the free hand tool, you have the smart drawing tool. After the smart drawing tool, you have the rectangle tool. Then you have the eclipse tool. You have the graph paper tool. Then you have the basic shapes followed by the text tool. Then you have the 3D tool used for interactive blending. Then here you have the eye dropper tool. The eye dropper tool followed by the outline tool. And then the fill tool. Then you have the interactive tool. Up the first two bar you have is the menu bar, and then you have the property bar. Um, today 
I will quickly show you how you can bring in a text in Corel Draw. This is your page. Your page is usually uh, defined, and these are the properties of your page. These are the properties of your page. It's currently telling you that the page is letter, and the page has 8.5 by 11. With this tool, you can change it to A4 size or any size you want. You can see it will have changed by now. It will change. Then you can also change it to. You can change it now. You can change it to C4 or C5 very small and then you can also change it to any paper size you want any paper size let's pick photo card now when i select photo card and i press my enter key you discover this will be the size of my photo card then um i can select other sizes i can select other sizes that i want once i select other sizes it's going to define it for me i'll get the definition of other sizes that I think I want using the toolbar there. Using the toolbar there. Now you discover that I have here, I have in here, let's say I want the envelope size. You can see it will change to the envelope size. So this is how to change your pages. Then you can then go to your text. Once you click on the text toolbar, once you click on the text toolbar, it will show a plus arrow. And then you once you click on it. You can now press any text. Let's press success. Success. Once you highlight it on your toolbar, success. You can see success. After you have selected anything, the first thing you must do is to go back to the pick tool before you continue any other thing. You must go back to the pick tool before you continue any other thing. All right. Um. Let's continue in the next class shortly.